Quaker once told me that violence comes but in a blink, but pacifism is the work of a lifetime. He says, no problem, come in, lads. Right? And it's like one of those big plastic stripes, you know, where it keeps the flies in. Right, so, so I go through. Right, and... <laughs> All right, get there. Well, pick your poison. I'll, uh, I'll do this one. All right, I'll at it. Oh, what do you have for your lunch today, Gibbsy? Quinoa salad. Oh, did you buffalo? Whatever it was, it had plenty of carrots in it. Yeah, well, if I see your carrots again, we'll both be back here tomorrow, won't we? Anyway, you know, so I go through, right, and the first thing that hit me, right, is the smell. Oh, smell with that fucking bad, you either just want to empty it or fucking vomit it. The smell, but, oh, it was fucking putrid. You know, I, I'd say it was, it was like a mixture of meats and bodily fluids. Yeah, blood smells pretty much like iron, you know, and meat. Dead, rotted meat. But anyway, it crawls up via fucking nose and crawls into your stomach, no problem at all, no getting away from it. All right, good sir. Question number one. Why do they always point in the same direction? Well, if one of ours gets killed, the troops there, we've given them a quick burial on the axis of attack. Fucking hell, almost word for word. Well, it was you that failed me. <laughs> yeah, fucking horrendous, you know. Fucking horrible. You know, you do... They had all the fans going on in there. You know, you go in, right, and there's this mortician just hacking away at some fucking body. Right? I'm stood there and he goes, well, don't be frightened. Come right over, right? And he's got... He's got this drill bit, right, with this fucking spinning blade at the front, and he's literally cutting through some poor fucker's head. Right, he's going all the fucking way round. And then, right, he tries to pull it off. Yeah, he sort of, sort of like, puts a chisel in it, tapped it, and, yeah, pulls this off. Right, it's me, Phil Gill and Chuggy, and I'm thinking, first one that runs, and fucking out the door with him. <laughs> And then, right, he's, he's hacking away at the lower intestines and he must have snipped a part of, like, the intestine wall and all the shit's in there, right? And he gets a little bit on his glove, right? And he, and he flipped it like this and it went right on his, my fucking face. And every time I breathe in, it's going up my nose or, like, in my mouth. And I'm, I'm holding on to the table, but, you know, my whole body is like Mr. Fucking Jelly Man. Right. And then Phil, right, Phil stood there, right, and he goes, what happens if it's a kid, mate? And the mortician goes, well, same, mate. You know, if they die in a natural death in Britain, they're going to get this. And Phil goes, if you come near my fucking son, I'll punch your fucking lights out. <laughs> I think Phil Gill might be my dad. Yeah. Well, I served with him for 14 years. There's a decent chance he is. All right, Gibbs, you stop prattling around with this. Now, pull the fucking bag out, all right? <laughs> well, unzip it then.